exciting to share something that's this global in concept and uh, so meaningful. Uh, it's an emotional story. I've never seen anything like it, and I've never experienced anything like it. It's thrilling, you know. It's, uh, this movie's been like a labor of love for thousands of people involved, so it's, it's great to finally get to share it. Good things are always worth the wait. Jim has been known for taking his time because he has that much respect and that much love for his followers, for his fans. And he knows that what made Avatar 1 special was the fact that there was a true love story. He needed to wait uh, for this story to sort of tell him where it wanted to go. And, um, and I'm so happy he did. Well, it's so exciting to be here tonight, just to know we're going to share it with so many people who are so excited. And we've been so excited now for about 10 years, uh, having read the scripts and, you know, it was a, a wonderful project to be part of. And uh, Jim is a great director. Our ensemble is just wonderful. And so now that we get to share with everybody, it's just the best. It really doesn't matter where you're from, what country, what part of the globe you're from. When you see Pandora, it, it just has an overwhelming effect. It's so lush, it's so lavish. It's a wonderful place to spend some time. And then, of course, the themes of this are all about family. And again, that's a global deal. We're all family. And so I think that that accounts for a lot of the appeal that it has. I think one of the things we were really excited about was bringing back characters that the audience would be familiar with, but introducing a whole new generation of characters that audiences actually can grow up with. And we're also taking them to new biomes. It's going to be heartfelt and emotional. It's, it's going to be like no blockbuster film that has come out in quite some time. It's an absolute honor, and I mean, they've done an amazing work with the script. There's obviously not so much that we can say right now, but the way they've managed to expand the terrain but also keep such a personal ideal at heart is, um, is really interesting. And for that to be in the format of an action film is actually quite incredible, and I hope the audience enjoy it. It's really exciting. Uh, yes, this film has is introducing a lot of new characters and also new creatures and wonders, and we see a part of Pandora that we haven't seen before, too. I'm just so excited to, for people to see, like, you know, the new cast of it's about, you know, the Sullys have gotten older, they have a family now, and um, I play Spider, who's a human, who was born and raised on Pandora, and he's already like a teenager, so we already, you know, he, he, he's a normal teenager, but obviously in a very unnormal environment. The main theme is 1000% family, and that family isn't just who you're born with, who you're born to, but also your chosen family. This is for me. I, I was 27 when I uh, when I booked this. So think about that. To be on this carpet almost 20 years later. I'm 45 now. Almost 20 years later is a magnificent moment. It personally for me, for my family, for my lovely wife who's here. Uh, we're just so excited. Really heartfelt family tale. I think that's what's really resonating with people is it's emotional and it's got high stakes. Not just about the visual that's going to knock your socks off because Jim's involved. But you know that famous phrase, it never bet against Jim, and I don't think you should. Uh, well, first of all, it's a giant spectacle. So, you know, I'm as excited as the audience might be because I haven't seen the film yet. So um, as a visual spectacle, I think it's going to be incredible. It's been... It's been a blessing, honestly, praise God. But I just, I'm honestly speechless. It's like all the, diff all the different work that was put into it and all the different things that we got put through to, to be able to be a part of it. <laughs> it's just been wicked. It's been cool. Yes. Finally, finally, because I've been working hard for the last two years and I, I guess back since 2017 with James Cameron creating the Navi sign language. It took two years to create 300 Navi signs and now tonight we get to see the real Avatar movie.
think is they hopefully they will discover the beauty and the exquisite uh, story that Jim has told. I'm just there to support it. One of the things, the advantages I have on this one is that because we're underwater for so much of this, often I get a chance to actually play, this, be the story in terms of, you know, tell what's going on musically. And that's, uh, that's uh, uh, obviously a wonderful thing to be able to have to do.